you can think of me as the Bill Nye for hydroponics. And today we're going to talk about CalMag. Hey YouTubers, I'm Ape and we're back here for another episode of No Fail Hydroponics. And today we're going to talk about CalMag and calcium. And is the product CalMag even necessary or is it just a big waste of money? Okay, so without further ado, we'll get right, right into it. So what is CalMag? Well today, CalMag is kind of a generic term tossed around for any calcium and magnesium additive um, that you're supposed to use along with your base nutrients in the hydroponic and indoor gardening industry. For example, if you use a, a baseline from General Hydroponics, Botanic Care, Advanced Nutrients, or even um, you know House and Garden, using a CalMag additive is very common, and all it does is supplement your main nutrient with calcium and magnesium. CalMag was actually invented by Botanic Care because their flagship. Uh, fertilizer Pure Blend Pro does not contain any calcium and calcium is mandatory for plants to function properly and we'll get right into that in a second but CalMag uh, was invented by Botanicare you know those people who make those nice shiny trays ebb and flow trays and it, it it's made to use it was made it was invented to be met, used with their base nutrient Pure Blend Pro it became so popular with the onset of cocoa um, cocoa Cora as a substrate that many other manufacturers um, finally got on board and started making CalMag products. So, so what's it, what's more important, the cow calcium or the magnesium? Let's take a look at it. First of all, you'll see these number, these letters here. NPK. We all should know what NPK is, right? I hope you do, because if you don't, it might be some confusion, and maybe we need to make another video. But NPK stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Those are your big three macro elements that all plants require. Okay, if there was a fourth element, it would be calcium. And I, and I preach calcium to all my clients. Calcium use um, is, 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 is calcium supplementation is so beneficial, um, wh whether it's in the form of cow mag, uh, worm castings, humic shale, oyster shale, depending on your substrate, um, will do wonders for your, your final harvest, um, the smell, the essential oils, um, and the health and vigor of your plants. So um, I preach uh, calcium supplementation at every turn. Um, and this is why calcium is so important. Plants use calcium to strengthen, when they actually form their cell walls, calcium is actually used in the formation of the cell walls. Okay, and we all know when you can look at an eggshell and see an eggshell is 100% is calcium and how stiff it is. Well, plants use that same calcium in, in of course, a minute form to build their cellul cellular walls. And what this does, it aids in strength and vitality of a plant. So if you're growing a plant that's tall, lanky, and leggy, falling over, maybe you need to look into your, your CalMag supplementation. Are your plants getting enough calcium? Plants also use calcium in photosynthesis. Along with iron, calcium and iron together are what gives our plants that dark green look when they're healthy, when they're at their healthiest. Not the limey yellow color that you see associated with plants that are going through some kind of uh, deficiency, but that dark, that lush dark green color is responsible because of calcium and magnesium. I mean, I'm sorry, calcium and iron. So, how does it aid in photosynthesis? The darker your plant, genetically, because there, there is a certain threshold, but the darker your plant is to its natural limit, the, the, the higher the photosynthesis efficiency is, the better it is able to turn that expensive light you're using, whether it's outdoor sun, which is free, or as most of you are doing, uh, using these expensive indoor lights, um, having good calcium photo... Uh, Calcium uh, supplementation will allow your plants to use that light even more efficiently during its photosynthesis process. Therefore, producing faster growing plants and lush, better smelling, larger flowers. Okay? So it's very important. And lastly, if you watched my last video, you know I'm a stickler on pH. Okay? And pH is very important in, in all aspects of 
hydroponics and indoor garden. And here's why. If your pH is out of range, just say your pH starts to creep and it's out of range, it, it goes to the threshold where it's, it's out of range and you're not a stickler on it and you don't bring it back down, okay? Because I believe you should let your pH creep up and then bring it back down. You let it go for two or three days and then you bring it back down. You let it go for two or three more days and you bring it back down. I'm a stickler on that. But if you're not a stickler on your pH and you let it get rise, creep and rise and you don't bring it back down, one of the first elements that's going to fall out of solution or become unavailable to your plants is calcium. Now, we just talked about how important calcium is for your plants. Why would you not pH and keep that element available for your plants to use? It makes no sense, right? It makes no sense not to pH. Okay? I just told you how important this element was to your plants. Okay? Outside of NPK, it's the ne next important um, element. So it's important that you stick with that, that pH cycle, that pH regimen in your own garden to make sure your plants have enough calcium available to them. Because again, once your pH gets out of range, whether in, you're in soil or hydroponics, one of the first uh, elements to fall out of solution, to become unavailable to your plants, is going to be calcium. I hope I made my point there. Okay, so let's keep going. So... We've gone through all that, so let's get to the nuts and bolts. Is CalMag even necessary? Okay, some people might say no. Some people might say yes. I'm going to tell you what works, what's worked for me and what work, what's worked for my clients that I have consulted. If you're a soil grower, <clears throat> you don't need a lot of cal, CalMag, especially if you get a high-quality soil. Okay, and I'm not talking about Fox Farm because that's not high-quality in my opinion. Okay, we can get on that another day. Okay, um, cow, uh, cow mag is not necessary in soil. Uh, supplementation isn't necessary in soil if you're using a high quality um, soil and if your base nutrients has some sort of calcium in it. If you're a soil grower and you want to make sure all your needs are met, after the first month and you get into your first month of flowering, you may then want to supplement with a little bit of cow mag, maybe half strength, um, in your in your your feeding regimen when you do. Um, but you don't. It's not really necessary in soil if you have all the bases already covered. What about hydroponics? Well, if you're doing some kind of water culture, deep water culture, bubbling buckets, shallow water culture, aeroponics, as long as your base nutrient has an, enough cow mag calcium in it. You don't have to worry about it, especially if you pH. Because again, if you don't pH, the calcium is going to fall out of solution and not even, be, not even be available to your plants. Okay, so let's make that clear. But if you're in some kind of water culture, um, hydroponically, and your, your base nutrients has calcium in it, you don't have to worry about it, especially if you pH. So what about other, other medias? Okay, we can go soilless mixes. Um, we can talk about peat. We can talk about... Um, Cocoa, hydrogen, and hydrogen I would just call water culture because it doesn't add any, any qualities to the water. So let's, let's, let, let's talk about what's happened uh, somewhat recently in, in the industry. Since the explosion of the popularity of cocoa, the use of cow mag has gone up uh, 10 times, tenfold. And that's because calcium falls out of solution quickly in cocoa. It's not, it's not because of anything bad with cocoa. It's not anything bad with the growers. It's just the, the it has a low cation exchange, which for the layman basically means because calcium is a large element, it just, when we're, when we're watering heavy in hydroponics, it's one of the first ones that get washed out. Okay, that's, it's, it's much more complicated than that, but for the nutshell, that's all you really need to know. So calcium growers, calcium or calcium, uh, I'm sorry, cocoa growers, or guys are using some kind of coconut blend, um, it's mandatory that you use cow mag. Okay, let me say that again. Cocoa guys, cocoa blend guys, it's mandatory that you use co uh, cow mag. Got that? And for you guys growing medical cannabis, I've got a message for you too. Okay, just hold on. Okay, and for those of you that are growing... Uh, America's favorite plant, CalMag is also mandatory. Just like tomatoes, 
America's favorite plant is a calcium whore. Okay, and some strains uh, way more than others. So I recommend for people who are growing America's favorite plant to definitely supplement with CalMag. Um, if not half strength and then full strength, um, it can't hurt, especially with this particular plant. It's got very high calcium needs. Again, if you're growing something tall and leggy, lanky, um, calcium supplementation can help with that plant structure by keeping them more compact, keeping the stems and branches stiffer, and you'll find dark green luscious growth. Uh, something else that I found good in Hydro um, Cocoa Blends is the supplementation of uh, humic shale. And um, I'll put a link up for that. I'll put another a video up for some, a good place to find humic shale. But if you can find humic shale and mix it in with your cocoa, just send a thanks to me. That's one of my tips. Um, Harborside likes that supplementation if you, you catch my drip. But uh, definitely um, humic shale and cocoa is a two thumbs up. So... There you go. Um, we've reviewed the, the CalMag. Um, it's, it's in calcium's benefits to the industry, industry. We've been through, is it necessary for your garden? And that's going to cut the end of this video today. Again, if you have any questions that you like ape to uh, solve, any, any, anything you want me to address, just let me know. And when you get done watching this video, make sure you like the video. Check like at the end. I'm a fledgling video guy. Um, likes will help me out a lot. Subscribe. Definitely hit subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Make me feel good every day. And if you think there's any knuckleheads out there that can benefit from my knowledge, make sure you share this video too. So until next time, this is Ape signing off. And I'll see you with the next episode of No Fail Hydroponics. You guys have a good day and be careful out there. As always, thank you for stopping by and spending time with us. Be sure to like our videos and subscribe. Until next time, have a nice day.